I'm Kim Vent. I'm a certified heart math trainer and I am teaching the heart math techniques to a group of about 100 inner city children in Worcester, Massachusetts. In the past two years, I've taught these children science and engineering in an after school setting. And after doing that for two years, I realized that these children really needed greater emotional control. It's um, a tough environment to teaching because you never knew who was going to have a meltdown that day. And a lot of these kids come from very tough backgrounds. We've really had um, a lot of successes so far with the kids using these techniques, and I'd like to share a few of those stories with you. The first one that I thought was really great was one day a little boy in second grade came into class, and he sat away from his friends. And you could clearly see he was very distraught that day. I tried to engage him. didn't work. So I went on teaching the heart-focused breathing to the rest of the class. And the class really enjoyed it. They liked it. They got into it. And then I brought out the yam weight. Well, at some point, this little boy started taking a few deeper breaths. And then when the EM wave came out, he came over, he got in line, and he participated. The EM wave is the device that hooks from the computer to your ear so that when you do your deep breathing, you can see how it affects your heart rate rhythm. And he really got into that. By the end of class, he had a big smile that on his face. And for me, it was just great to see how quickly he could take um, a very distraught state and turn it into a more peaceful, joyful state. And I think that's so important because if a kid can't do that and they're in a class all day, they're not going to be able to learn. The second story a little girl relayed to me when I came to teach that day. She had been in math class and she started to panic. They were taking a test and she forgot how to solve the math problem. But then she remembered to do her heart-focused breathing. Not only did she remember how to solve the math problem, she only got one wrong on the test and winded up getting an A. And I was teaching freeze frame to older children. And this one little girl had done bad in social studies. Um, so she was very upset about that. So freeze frame is a technique that teaches kids to solve a problem or an issue by tapping into their intuition. So her, her question was that she wrote down, am I going to pass the fifth grade? We went through all the steps and she wrote down all her thoughts and feelings surrounding that and then they tapped into their intuition. And she got the reply, yes, I'm going to be a good student for the rest of the year. Yes, you are going to be a terrific student. And this was just great because it gave her the confidence and clarity that she needed um, to face that social studies work. I've heard from a lot of kindergartners that they've used the heart-focused breathing when they get upset. Everything from a lollipop dropping on to the floor to being mad at mom to a brother messing up a bedroom or a sister that she, um, he was in a fight with. And they all said it really helped calm them down and take control. And one little boy even said it, it has stopped him from hitting. And he had an issue where he'd hit his classmates sometimes when he got angry at him. So that, again, was just fantastic to hear. Not only are these tools important academically, but they're so important um, in life in general. And I'm so thankful to be able to bring these tools to these children who so desperately need them and who are really making great strides in using them. So thank you.